Hey guys, what's going on? And in this video today, I'm going to be going over some Havoc Demon Hunter and Resto Shaman 2v2 gameplay in Arena. So if you clicked on this video, I play a Havoc Demon Hunter and I'm just going to be going over what I'm doing in the arena, why I'm doing it, um, what the enemies are doing, why they may be doing it. And there's both wins and losses in this video. So just keep that in mind. Um, it helps me out uh, to see like where I messed up or, or maybe someone else messed up. And yeah, I mean, feel free to point stuff out, uh, critique me, like the video, dislike the video, do what you got to do. But uh, don't forget to subscribe if you like the video. So I'll be making a lot more of these. And uh, anyways, let's start. So in this one, we're going up against a Arms Warrior and a Resto Druid. I am just doing my rotation. Uh, I beam, uh, fell blade, and the warrior. I got his uh, die by sword. I just decided to swap to the druid. I threw him. Uh, I caught him off guard, and uh, well, he's dead. This one, I'm chasing the priest. I typically like to chase healers. Um, sometimes against a beast master hunter, um, I'd rather go him, just because he's just going to be, you know, just. If, especially if he's Venthyr, he's going to be getting like his uh, kill shot procs. And hunters are rather squishy. And yes, they can disengage and they can slow me. But for the most part, I can keep up with them. Um, since I'm Night Fae, I can fake cast the hunt. And if they understand what it is, I mean, I'm pretty good at getting like their defensive cooldowns. So whether it be Turtle, Fane Death, or even Shadow Meld, if they're Night, or night Elf. But typically, if I'm going up against a Beastmaster Hunter, I'll fake cast Hunt. And if they're running the Legendary that allows them to uh, feign death every 15 seconds, I have to be able to get their legend. I have to be able to get their feign death, and then I have a 15 second window to be able to, well, kill them. So I hope to have them at least like a 50% um, when they feign death. And that way I can just hunt and fell rush them right out of that. And that's about a easily 20k damage uh, between the hunt dot, hunt itself, and fell rush. So can be more, can be less, but typically that's about what you'll be hitting for. Um, both, uh, both the healers are just hiding behind the pillars as they should. Um, my Resto Shaman's keeping me up. His Earth Elemental's already gone. And at this point, I'm just getting rooted with Binding Shot. Um, I am running reverse. I'm not reversing yet um i'm just going after the hunter right there i got his feign death and his trap so he's not going to trap my healer uh, my healer capacitated toted him cap used it stunned him so i'm just constantly getting slowed and i can vengeful retreat out of it it's on cooldown right now though so i'm not and i don't have any pets on me i don't have anything on me right now there he goes he popped his uh Resonating Arrow, he's carrying so he can attack through walls. And it's actually a bit of a relief. It's, in my opinion, uh, less pressure because he's not Venthyr getting kill shot procs. And I hunted there. Uh, we got the Holy Priest's uh, Guardian Spirit, which if someone dies with Guardian Spirit on them, it just brings them back to life. It gives them a certain percent of health. I forgot how much, but it you have to kill them twice, essentially, if you get that proc. Or if you have a Priest or something. If you're playing with a uh, Venthyr Priest, uh, they can mind games it, and then you just get a kill. But I don't have a Priest, and I just ended up dying there. I probably should have swapped to the healer. Um, I didn't. I'm normally pretty good at beating uh, Beastmaster Hunters. I didn't there, though. Um, here I'm going up against the Warrior Resto Druid. Um, I hunted. I got his Spell Reflect, and... Sorry, I didn't get his Spell Reflect. I got his Die by Sword. And Die by Sword is just his parry chance and damage reduction. We got Earth Elemental Legendary. And when I fell rushed, I mean, I, I went flying off. I mean, that was my fault there. Um, we got Spirit Link Totem already. Um, my Shaman, he dropped it. I wasn't anywhere near, but he did it. We had Dark too. Uh, we overlapped there. We weren't in Discord. Um, we were just doing games, made each other an LFG. And, uh, yep, just doing games. We have the Earth Elemental Legendary out. It does a constant stun and just does a lot of damage. 
So whoever he's on, typically that's who I would go. Um, but right now the Druid's pretty distracted, and I'm just like killing them both. And the Warrior's almost dead. We got a Shackle. Um, I already hunted earlier, keeping the healing reduction on by using Blade Dance. I'm swapping back to the Druid. I got rooted by the Warrior temporarily from Warbringer talent. He goes bare. When he's in bear form, he has more health, and he has more armor, and he can pretty much not take any damage. He can frenzy regen. Um, my shaman popped Ascendance. Ascendance is his big healing cooldown. And I sun them, eye beaming them. I'm running Isolated Prey, so he's taking 10% increased damage. And there we go. I hunted him and he dies. Warrior pops Avatar. But the warrior just gave up. Um, I mean, I guess he could win, but he didn't. Here we're going up against a Disciplined Priest and a Feral Druid. Feral Druid's in Stealth. And I decided just to start the Priest. The Druid's going to open up eventually. I hunted him. I got rooted because he's running the Venthyr Covenant talent that roots people. Stunned him. We got a Shackle. I kicked the Convoke. And the priest is struggling. He's burning some cooldowns. Isolated prey again, so he's taking 10% increased damage. He has 10% increased fire damage, which in turn buffs my chaos damage by 10% as well. So he's taking a lot of damage, and he just dies. He couldn't recover, and too much pressure, healing reduction. So he died. <laughs> and the Feral Druid's there. He was trying to win. Um, why? I don't know. He's getting stunned by the Earth Elemental Legendary. So Earth Elemental Legendary really overpowered. Uh, yeah, it is. It's uh, it's a stun and it does a bunch of damage. This one we're going against an Affliction Warlock and a Resto Shaman. Uh, typically, I eat Affliction Warlocks alive as a Demon Hunter just because of my mobility. And I hunted him. I I beamed. I I beamed first for the haste bonus, and uh, my hunt dot benefits from the haste, so I'll get like extra ticks of uh, my hunt dot. And it ticks down faster because I have extra haste. Whenever you I beam with your, whenever you I beam, you get a buff that increases your haste. So that's the importance of I beaming first rather than just casting hunt. He's going all over the place. He's trying to fear. Um, we got the other shaman's earth elemental. I'm just doing damage still, and he just dies. Um, you can see the huge damage difference between me and the Warlock. I mean, the Warlock couldn't really get any dots off, so that's the important thing. Mage Rogue here. Um, main thing for Mage Rogue is Demon Hunter. Uh, just stop their opener. You can M cap one, and you can uh, stun the other, or stun both, like with Chaos Nova, if they're within range of each other. Um, typically, to survive the o if you survive the opener or stop the op like stop the opener of a Mage Rogue, like you'll win. Usually. Right, I mean, you'll definitely have a be ahead. Doesn't mean you'll win. Um, he vanished my hunt there. Uh, that was my fault. I hesitated too soon, and uh, yeah, I mean, he he vanished it. I got disarmed. Things that suck for demon hunters are getting disarmed and um, rooted, rooted, stunned, disarm. Those are like the biggest things if you ever want to kill a demon hunter. So if you have a disarm, use it. Got an ice block. He has the conduit that heals him in ice block. We have no mass to spell or shatter. So he's just allowed to sit there. The rogue's there. He blinds me. I don't have my trinket. So here I am. Uh, just, yeah, blinded. <laughs> I in-cap the mage. We got his trinket from the in-cap. And he pops his meteor there. He's trying to sheep. He sheeped me. My shaman's there doing his thing. The rogue's running around somewhere. I'm staying in combat so I don't get sapped. Blade dance, doing my attacks. The mage almost dies. He blinks away, comes back. We got his proc from Cauterize. He has his Triune Ward uh, shields up, so he has three shields. And I mean, it just burns right through it. I'm almost dead. I have no trinket, and I just die. Um, that one there could have played a little bit differently. Um, he's almost dead. I mean, it was a close game. 
Uh, this one, we're going up against a Destro Warlock and a Resto Druid. We already got the Destruction Warlock's Trinket right away. And he popped his uh, Dark Soul as well. And the Druid put Thorns on him. I'm almost dead. I line of sight him. I just popped Netherwalk. If a Warlock is ever going me and I have to pop Netherwalk, uh, just a fun fact, I mean, uh, Destruction Warlock, they use... Well, they use their, Warlocks use their Soul Shards, right? And... I, correct me if I'm wrong on this, but if they have all their soul shards, they can do, I think, two chaos bolts, maybe three, I think. I don't remember exactly. I haven't played my uh, Warlock in a while, but if you have the opportunity to let the Warlock get a bolt off, right, because the only way, reason you would let them get a bolt off is if you have some type of immunity or you can just line a sight, you can, uh, main thing, immunity, forget what I said about line of sight, uh, immunity, and uh, like a bubble or an ice block or something, uh, just because it wastes their soul shards and they'll have one less bolt, right? So that's something to think about there, and that's what I did there. Uh, this one we're going up against the Holy Priest and a Frost Death Knight. He threw mind games on me. I am not running reverse here. I'm running uh, Isolated Prey, uh, Chaotic Imprint, and Mortal Dance. So I can't reverse, so I'm dependent on my Shaman to dispel my mind games, which I don't like to only have uh, one person to be able to dispel it, but I wanted the extra damage, and I figured, well, this season's all about burst damage, right? So why not? I tried it out. So I was trying out for this uh, set of games. I swapped to the Priest. This game's rather long. Um, the Holy Priest kind of lives. He's taking a lot of damage. But so is my Shaman. We got the Earth Elemental on the Priest, so it's helping out a bit. I'm Shackling the Priest. And I'm just keeping up, doing damage to him. He popped his Battle Master. He has no Trinket. I stunned him. I got my Chaos Theory proc. So I'm trying to Chaos, or, uh, Chaos Strike Annihilation as much as I can. I got Disoriented from the Death Knight. And now the Death Knight's Flesh Crafting. And again, I'm just sticking to the Priest, keeping pressure up. Um, his mana's not really going down. Uh, neither's my Shaman's. Put him in another stun. He's taking 10% increased Shadow Damage. Which, I mean, increased damage from my Demon Blades, right? Which is my talent. And, of course, my Chaos Damage attacks. So, I beam Chaos Strike Annihilation. So, here, and uh, we got Guardian Spirit. So, he has increased healing on himself. And he popped Apotheosis. So we're getting his cooldowns, and pretty much it, we're getting his cooldowns. My Shaman Link's there. Um, I think he was okay. I mean, he looked okay. Perhaps he wasn't. I mean, who knows there. He's Symbol of Hoping to get some mana back and to reduce the cooldown of some of his defensive abilities. There's the Mind Games. My Shaman dispels it. He was on top of that. I'm going back to the Priest, and I'm just keeping this Priest at like 50% health the whole time. Um... I faked the hunt there, hunting him here, fell rushing, and he didn't take any damage. Um, I'm running, I'm running, I'm running, I'm kiting, trying to run away from the DK, bring him away from his priest. He popped his uh, movement speed, something walk, I forgot what it's called. We have the Death Knight over here, we're bringing the priest over, doing damage to the Death Knight, getting him about the half, but he's just getting topped. I stun the priest, and I'm trying to go back to the Death Knight, but he's training my shaman pretty hard right now. I think my shaman's okay. The priest is doing, trying to get a mind games on me again. He gets mind games on my shaman instead. He's flash healing now. When he flash heals, he's burning mana, so costs a lot of mana. He's definitely burning mana. My shaman's sitting at about 60% mana. The priest is at about, I'd say, 20%. The Death Knight can't be stunned right now because he popped his Icebound Fortitude. And he also has damage reduction. I dropped Darkness on my Shaman, so he has 50% chance to not get hit by anything. He ran out of the Darkness. Um, he's almost dead. And yeah, he pretty much dies. He ran out of Dark. Um, no big deal. I mean, it was like, it was whatever. I mean, I wasn't upset. But uh, yeah, we're still going at it. 
The he has his mortal dance up, my mortal dance healing reduction, fire damage increase, so increased damage from flame shock, immolation aura fell blade, and my chaos uh, damaging abilities. Going for the mind games again. He didn't get the mind games. We line aside him. The priest has apotheosis back up. We got a root to a I would hunt him to a fell rush. And he's just dying. He slowly dies, maybe. And there we go. We got the kill. Barely. This was a rather long game. But the priest pretty much went oom. And uh, we won. So good job to my shaman. And that's what I got, guys. I mean, these are the games. Uh, I'm just talking about what's going on, what I'm doing. You know, uh, just... I'm going to start making some more videos too of where I pause it. The videos will have less games, but the videos will be just as long. Like these videos are about 16 minutes, 17 minutes, 15 minutes. Um, they'll be the same length. Uh, the videos will have less games though, just because I'll pause the video and I'll just go over like specific uh, scenarios that could be going on, right? Uh, let's because most of the games are in a 2v2 situation. If you don't notice, um, the games are usually only about 30 seconds to about a minute. Um, th there's some exceptions, like this game was definitely one of them where it went on for about four minutes. However, usually they're over in about 30 seconds. And um, my target audience for my YouTube channel is definitely. The newer players, um, the new arena person, the new PvP person, specifically arena. Um, and if you play Demon Hunter, I mean, my videos aren't only for Demon Hunters. I mean, I'm sure there's something that you can learn just by listening to what I have to say. Um, a lot of the game is reactive right now, and uh, you don't necessarily have the time to really uh, think about what happened, right? And... Since the game happens so fast, uh, there's just a there's a gap in knowledge, right, between the more seasoned PvPer and say a new person, right? Um, the patience for like a newer person to explain to the for the older for the for the older player, the seasoned player, to be explaining to the newer player that the patience isn't always there. So I mean, that's why my videos are here. And hopefully you learn something from them. And uh, yeah, I mean, that's what I'm going to be doing more of. So I'll be doing video breakdowns, game breakdowns, what I'm doing, why. So hopefully you like that. Um, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Um, if you like the video, like the video. Dislike the video if you hated the video. Dis whatever reason, right? If you want to take out your frustrations on the video, leave a comment. You know, tell me I'm doing good. Tell me I'm doing bad. Like, I don't care. Um, any comments, any likes, dislikes, um, they're all positive for me because it shows that people are interacting with my video and um, it's good, which it'll draw more people to my video, algorithm stuff, YouTube stuff, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I also also stream on Twitch at twitch.tv forward slash junk in my house. And... That's all I got for you guys today, so hopefully you liked the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.